Hi guys, it's Connie from Connie's Diamond Line Express. I finally finished the little flower things I, were, I was making to hang on my garland at the top of my window out of scrap material, the DIY that I just showed you guys. So there's that one on that end. They're just little strips of frayed material with old vintage buttons out of a one of my button boxes that I have, because I have a lot of them that are just full of buttons that I like to run my hands through when I'm stressed out. I do have a video on that too, if you look back into some of my videos that I put up. And then there's one on the end there. It's harder to see from where I am on the very end. So I really like how it came out and it was so simple. I just kept getting interrupted so I couldn't finish them until now. And then I wanted to show you guys, I got some things from um, Timu recently. And these little apple blossom lights, they run on two AA batteries. Those are really neat. When you have them on at night and stuff, they're pretty bright, but they um, kind of mellow out a, lo a little bit after a little while. I have one there. And then let me turn this light off here. And then you can see this one. See, so I have that one, which shows up a lot more when this other light's off. But we wouldn't be able to see anything. So I'm very happy with that. I got a few things from Timu that I haven't shared yet. And the reason I haven't is because I got another bag coming probably tomorrow. So I will be sharing those with you. I just got excited because I love these little things that came out like flowers. The one on the end there with the yellow button in the middle. They're so simple, you guys. Just cut little strips, whatever length you want. I layered probably three layers of material. I think I did four on this one. And each time I got closer to the outside, I made it about a half an inch shorter, maybe a little bit more, and I frayed all the edges. And then sewed, the, sewed them together from the back side and sewed a button on there. So isn't that cool? I'm really happy with how they came out. There's the other one. So there's all of these little ideas that I see and I decide to do. And it's like I can't do them fast enough because I don't want to forget. So I'm trying to hurry to do it all. So this is uh, part of my bedroom, part of my new bedroom set. I have uh, moon and star lights hanging up behind that the ball right there in the macrame hanger. There's some moon and stars that light up at night on a timer behind the curtains. These are curtains that I just hung up there because I thought it'd be really, really neat. And I have my own special things hanging behind them and quite a collection. And then that's Evie from Pac-Man that my son got me. And this bed I recently got for $100 for this whole oak frame. And I love it. I love it so much. That's my Nibby Kitty's little bed. Nibby Kitty Lee. I had made her this little cushion that's reversible. And that's her little friends, some of them. This one she's had since she was eight weeks old. And she's 11 now, I believe. And she still has it. It's her favorite. So anyway, I was excited to share. I've got a bunch of these quilts here that I've... Um, thrifted and was lucky enough to get for four dollars and five dollars and then I have some that I've made my son recently asked me for one of the um, big queen size quilts that I made there's a stack of them right there so I hope you enjoy and maybe you'll get some of your scrap material out and try it out yourself it's simple simple easy guys so thank you for watching again and Love hugs and big, huge smiles, and we'll see you soon.